Welcome back Sinfam, in this guide I'll be showing you the best strats on how to defeat Hell House on hard mode. Let's go. The materia I'm rocking for Cloud is healing, revival and all four elements. And this is because Hell House continually changes his base element throughout the battle. The aim of the game here is to counter each element as soon as possible. This will bring Hell House into a pressured state where Cloud can spam focus thrust and push him into staggered. My summon is non-elemental and I highly recommend doing this as you don't want your summon unintentionally healing Hell House at any point. The rest of your loadout with Cloud is optional. Aerithen is my primary healer, providing support to Cloud throughout the battle. I've equipped her with one offensive materia, and that's lightning for two specific reasons. One, if Cloud is sucked in by renewed hospitality, you can quickly cast Thunder to cancel this ability. And two, if Sweeper and Cutter are summoned in the final phase, you need to quickly dispose of them using Thundaga. Now I say if summoned, as the goal in this strat is to finish Hell House before that even happens. Again, her summon is non-elemental and the rest of her loadout is optional. And without further ado, let's do this. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. The Hell House fight can be split into three phases. The first phase is by far the easiest, the second is the longest, and the third can be very easy if you know what you're doing. For phase one, I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step on how to push him into phase two within the first minute. Open the battle and counter chair salvo with Blizzaga. Don't worry about being hit by the chairs, Cloud can handle it. Dispose of the Tomberries as soon as they're summoned by using Triple Slash. And when Hell House begins phase shifting, Look out for the color of his windows to identify his base element. Blue represents lightning, white represents ice, green represents wind, and red represents fire. Ice is weak against fire and vice versa, and wind is weak against lightning and vice versa. Once he's pressured, simply use focus thrust to stagger him. After you stagger him, that should conclude phase one. No, not yet. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? What the? Look out. Phase two is split into two parts. The first without God mode and the second with God mode. In the first part of phase two, Hell House becomes non-elemental and no longer resists physical damage. This means you should try to use Focus Thrust on cooldown. When Hell House uses Housing Rush, simply switch to Punisher mode, counter attack and dodge roll out of there. When Hell House uses Hospitality, move out of range. Oh and did I say, don't forget to kill those Tonberries. Stop animals! 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 Stop anim
the price you pay for sharing to get in the way of true love? Here it comes. Once Hell House activates God Mode, you'll need to wait for an opening to cast Weak Magic. As soon as his shield breaks, his windows will correspond to the colour of his element, as mentioned earlier. Use the magic that is strong against this element, and you'll move Hell House into a pressured state. When Hell House casts Chair Salvo, cast Fire. If he does this in the stands, he'll be pressured when he lands. When Hell House performs Housing Shock, cast Aero to remove the electricity then simply counter-attack and or dodge roll. When Hell House performs renewed hospitality, cast Thunder to interrupt it. When Hell House does double rocket charge, wait till he's stationary then cast Blizzard. If you do this right, you should be able to get him into phase 3 within the next 3 minutes. Phase 3 can be extremely tedious if you don't finish up the battle quickly. By now your limit bar with Cloud should almost be full, which is perfect for the strat we want to pull off. Hal Hal starts flying in circles around the ring, counting down to your inevitable doom. Once he reaches zero, he'll begin casting Howlbound, and his windows will indicate that he's taken on a random element. Immediately counter with the opposite magic and you'll bring him crashing down to the ground. If you fail to do this, you'll most certainly wipe before the phase has even started. Summon and go to town on a weakened Hell House, repeating the strat from the second part of phase 2 until he is staggered. Once staggered, finish the battle in fashion with Ascension and it's GG. Thanks for coming to help!
that's it guys if you found that helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have any tips or tricks you'd like to add to make this fight easier please drop them in the comments below and if you want to be the first to see all of those final fantasy 7 remake strats in the future don't forget to subscribe until next time happy gaming Did it? Hmm.